Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your most incrediblest host. So today is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. I won't be having tacos though. Today is chess day as well at The Body Beatdown's gym. Yeah! So, last week I did uh, some flat dumbbell presses and really focused on that and then uh, followed up with some incline smith machine presses and today i think i'm going to follow up with that and do flat i'm lying let me keep lying right here i'm going to do incline dumbbell presses and do flat smith machine presses yeah i think that's what i'll do i don't know no, we're not going to film the whole thing. We've all seen presses before. I'm not a 300-pound mass monster. I'm no fun to watch. I get it. But I could be an inspiration to someone out there, and you could be too. So we want to make sure that we keep in touch with people, even the regular, everyday people like myself. And hopefully, we can inspire people to change their lives and work out and eat a little better and be active and be healthy. So right now, and I got it kind of set up differently. I got my bench kind of set over here just for whatever reason. I thought I'd kind of set it over there for whatever reason. Yeah, anyway, so uh, let's get started on some incline presses. Uh, I'm just gonna start with the 40s. And uh, yes, I'm still nursing not only my everyday 25 years bad back, but the back that I threw out just this past Friday. I'm still kind of nursing that. And I am hoping that I can try to get the 100s up. And uh, so you might want to stick around for that to see if it's either a success or a failure uh, because you never know what could happen. So let's get on some 40s. The big weights, 40 pound dumbbells. All right, we're fixing to get up into the little heavier weights. Again, I hope it goes okay. So let's grab the 80s. pretty good picking them up. Well, it's time to grab the big boys. That's what she said, but she wasn't talking to me. So let's try and get these hundreds, guys. That was one of the harder parts, so I did that okay. Now the next hard part. We had success there, guys. No, no feeling of any extra pains or strains. So that was good. Whew. Now, if you look back last week, of course I did the hundreds. 
for probably four or five, probably about four sets or so, four or five, I don't remember. But it was on the flat bench. Uh, flat bench and incline bench are two totally different beasts. And if you've never worked out or you've never tried to do a little bit heavier weights, uh, you don't really uh, comprehend it. So doing an incline puts uh, your shoulders and your arms and everything kind of at a completely different angle than a flat bench. You know, a flat bench, you're pretty much going back and pushing just straight up, you know, over your chest, over this whole center mass here. An incline, you know, your body's like this and your arms are like this. And that's a, uh, it puts a whole different uh, mechanics uh, to the movement. And so usually people are going for a high, heavy flat bench, but more people are more impressed when you can do a heavier incline bench because it takes a lot more, a lot more of those stabilizing muscles. And sorry, I'm breathing hard, but those boogers were heavy. And, uh, going back to a flat dumbbell bench actually isn't as difficult as trying to go to an incline where you're only falling back this far with those weights trying to get them up. So it's actually more of a struggle just to even get into position. So having said that, I probably won't film any more of this movement because we've all seen it before and all I'm going to do is probably three more sets of these as long as my back holds up and my shoulder don't explode. So uh, after this I'm going to go to the flat smith machine press and I might get you know a clip or two of that and uh, we'll go from there guys. Stick around and keep pushing yourself every day. So let me get going and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got done with my incline dumbbell presses. Uh, I ended up doing four sets with the 100s. I did 10, 8, 8, and 5. So that's pretty good. And uh, considering I wasn't sure what I'd be able to do at all today, I'm super happy with that. Now we're on to the flat Smith machine press. I've got a, a 35 on each side with the bar, the way that it weighs on the Smith machine on this one. The bar itself is 57 pounds because it has a little carriage and all that goes on the guide rod. So it's 57 pounds. So we're pushing, I think 127 is what I have wrote down. I'm not a mathematician. I have to add it and subtract, multiply, divide every time I do something. So uh, again, this is not a heavy weight. It's not here to impress as far as the poundage. It's here to impress or inspire you to do your own thing and to make sure that you stay active and healthy and eat right and, and see that there's other people out here struggling just like you, us normal people are out here all over the world, okay? So we will do one little clip of this and uh, also at the same time, uh, we might do a couple of clips. It just depends on how I feel and where I think I can go with this. And uh, we'll discuss a little bit about the Smith machine uh, press after we're done, if I can remember. Okay, you seen what I just did there with 287? I only got about a half rep. <sighs> uh, the Smith machine is great for me for squats, rack deads, uh, rack pulls. Shoulder presses are pretty decent on it. You can do a, a, a plethora of things on the Smith machine. 
But for me, I personally think that it's kind of holding me back on my benching. Uh, not only just uh, being on the track, but um, knowing that you've got to get those hooks around those safeties or you're going to be messed up. Now, I know you're thinking, but the free weight bench has, you know, the uprights and you got to get it there. Right. But I'm not having to try and concentrate. I'm just going up and pop. You just pop it in the in the uprights or the J hooks or whatever it is that you're using. So and it could just be this Smith machine. Of course, this is the old Smith machine. It's wore out, rusty, not great. So it could just be my Smith machine. But uh, and this is one reason why I've been shopping around for a long time now, actually, for a way to do free weight benching. And again, I'm not trying to get super big and strong like I used to be years ago, but I want to progress a little bit in certain areas that I'm wanting to progress in. And uh, I feel like this is kind of holding me back because I get a mental kind of uh, a mental cap. No, no pun intended. But, you know, whenever I'm going down with that much weight and, uh, and I'm thinking, OK, am I going to get this up and able to hook it on to these safeties? I don't know. And uh, I do have other safeties that I can slide up and down and it will actually catch the bar. But they're in between where they need to be. If I put them up too high at one spot, you know, the bar is about that far from my chest. If I put them in another spot on the next one down, then the bar is past my chest. So I, I don't have a middle ground there to where I can feel safe and really push myself. I think I'm gonna lay down and try to do one more time uh, and just see how it feels. It is 287, I believe, is what it is. I know, weird numbers. Remember the bar, the carriage, all that. So uh, I'm gonna try and do it one more time and see how I feel. If I had someone here with me to kinda, you know, get the weights off there if anything happened, I might go for it more often, but let's just see. All right. <laughs> what we got okay there we go we'll just see You just see me do the same thing again. I'm fixing to get that weight. I don't know why I'm moving the camera. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> but I'm about to get that weight. I'm gonna get it. Now, I'm far from the biggest and strongest I've ever been. But this used to be nothing, you know, 287. I never went to 287, I went to 300. And then to like 320 something, 350 something, and then 370 something. This should be nothing back then. Well, you're seeing it right here on camera, guys. I'm struggling. And that's, that's uh, something that's natural. I don't know if I need to come in a bit because my shoulder. But then I don't want to use too much tricep. I went down just a hair farther. Ugh.
Okay, well this video went on far longer than I'd imagined that it would, but you know what? That's kind of what happens sometimes. I feel like I could get that. I really do if I was on a free weight machine and, you know, free weight bench and uh, I don't know. Now, of course, my shoulder is bad and it is like, uh, you know, I can feel it in my shoulder pretty good. So I, I do deal with a number of ailments and I have to remember that that uh you know i'm not exactly how i was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago so even though i had bad shoulders and a bad back all the way back 25 years ago still i was a lot stronger and able to push through some of these things so i'm not happy with that i should be getting 287 one rep easy and uh i will and i have been shopping like i said to get a to get a bench or a rack or a half rack or something. I, I've been looking and uh, it's just a matter of pulling the trigger. And uh, also keep in mind that this bench that I use is about an inch or so too high. A, regu a regulation bench should be somewhere around 17 inches tall. And this one's definitely a lot taller than that. Uh, I have to keep my feet up on the bench or else it stretches my back out too much whenever I put my feet on the floor and it hurts my back. So I have no stabilization really uh, to drive with my legs. You got to drive with your legs as much as your chest when you're benching. So anyway, I'm going to get 287 eventually within the next month. I'm going to get 287. So I'm, I'm not big on failing guys. So anyway. Uh, long video, but that's that's just the way it is here on uh, the body beat down. <sighs> I hope I inspired you a little bit today, at least to kind of keep going and uh, never giving up and giving it all you got and uh, even pushing through some uh, extreme uh, pains and aches and ailments. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I like to give a good little shout out to my buddy uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. He also uh, is one strong dude and uh, he's good to watch. He knows uh, a lot of stuff about benching and that's his forte is benching. And uh, he's one strong dude. And uh, yeah, he's got a good cat too named Binks. And uh, so anyway, and we got another channel I'd like to throw a shout out to and that's Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. He does amazing stuff. Uh, he, does, he has a lot of uh, home gym equipment and assembles it and works on it and you know shows you all the kind of ins and outs of it and does all kind of good stuff he's a cool guy and anyway guys having said that i'm gonna go ahead and cut this long video shorter longer while it's still going anyway like share subscribe comment all that good stuff too the body beat down me michael <coughs> i just spit anyway get up Get out, get red, do it, do it. We'll see y'all later. Live to fight another day. Try number three, I got it. I cut the video, I said, F it. I'm going for it again. Boom, one time, 287. Woo! Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.